What's up, everyone? I see you, Adrian, coming in from YouTube. What's up, Marion Jackson? I see you, Dr. Antoinette. Good morning, Robert Holman. I see you, Judy Neal, coming in here as well. Good morning to all of you. Y'all, today is Thursday. It is Thursday, January the 26th, 2023. We are rounding off. We're ending this January in just a few more days. So um, one month down, I guess we can say. Uh, we'll talk about it more next week, but we're getting there. I see my brother coming in here. Good morning to you. Yeah, there's a lot that's going on, and we're going to take our time and walk through some of the news today. There may be a time you want to have pen and paper or your smartphone or tablet to jot down some things. I'm going to give you a lot of information when I get to the White House news, which will be towards the end, right before I give you the inspirational message. I see you, Jacqueline, coming in. Everyone who's tuning in by audio or by the podcast platform, good morning to you. Good morning. I made the announcement yesterday that so many of you contacted me to let me know that just because I don't see you here on the chat that you have tuned over, turned over to the platform, uh, to the podcast platform. Um, and in the words of Gina Winks, uh, the audio engineer, she said that's called um, uh, listen while you live. So yeah, we understand you got to move about and get things done. It's easier to put the, the earbuds in and keep it going. Y'all, the podcast tomorrow that will drop will be with Gina Winks. We had a great time. We're talking about um, advocating for podcasters, and we had a great time. It was about a 50-minute segment. So you want to tune in to there. She gives some serious nuggets. We, we go back and forth and have some great conversation. Uh, we talked yesterday, and again, I want you to really download Politics and Pros and listen to what we shared. But we talked about, y'all, 82% of the American people tune into podcasts. 82% also listens to 22 hours a week of podcasts. So that's just some great numbers. And also in podcast advertising, in 2023, they estimate that it will reach $2 billion on podcasting. So look, check out the podcast again. It drops on tomorrow. I see you, Shardini. I see you, Kim Edmondson. I see you, Fred Jones. I see you, Lori Wallace. Yes, happy Thursday. See, I want to check that out. And then people have been asking me, what is this virtual lunch with Gail? Well, virtual lunch with, with me. Um, and it will post the links in there later. We just come to the table, we have our lunch, and then we work through a project. Um, and testimonies are already rolling in here, which is very exciting. This is something that when, during a time of prayer, it came to me. And I said, yes, I'm going to do this. There's a fee for that. But I said, yes, we're going to do this. All right, y'all, let's get into the news today. Again, this is, this is Thursday, January the 26th, 2023. Uh, Lori says, did you know that what today is my 15th anniversary? Well, happy anniversary to you, Lori Wallace. Happy anniversary, girl. What you doing off here this morning? Go fix the man some breakfast or something. But happy anniversary to you. All right, y'all. Ben Crump. Ben Crump. We're going to start with Ben Crump. This is coming out of HuffPost. It's also coming out of uh, AP News, CNN, other press releases that we received. And for those of you who are wondering, News in Motion is a grassroots uh, media outlet. Uh, we're focused on aggregating the news. We're pulling news from different sources, and we bring to you relevant commentary with the call to action mixed with the inspirational message. So all of that is rolled into one. So I wanted to let you know that. So y'all, Ron DeSantis, um, you know, has been threatened with legal action over AP African American Studies. So Ben Crump is actually serving as the attorney for several students. Um, three Florida high school students and more are coming on, are threatening to sue Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in the state of Florida over a recently announced statewide ban on new advanced placement courses on African American history, which he dismissed um, and he called it as not education. The student said Ron DeSantis is heavily favoring white history over black, and they are warning that they will take legal action unless the governor negotiates with the college board to allow the course to be taught. That's how you do it, y'all. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Um, Donna says, you 
You are so sweet. Love, love your cooking. I got to see what, oh, who's cooking? I need to know who's cooking. So y'all, then the former guy, y'all, is back on Facebook. Yeah. When that breaking news came out, I did a post, dropped it several places. And I said on here, what you say? What say you? So y'all, he's back. Yes. They say that there will be heightened penalties if he breaks the social media content rules, but he will really, but here's my question. Will he really be uh, pushed back? Um, get receive pushback from Facebook. And what are your thoughts on the former guy returning to Facebook? What are your thoughts to that? What are your thoughts to that? So y'all Meta, the company said in a blog post Wednesday, it is adding new guardrails to ensure there are no repeat offenders who violate its rules. In the event of Mr. Trump, I'm reading a quote, post further violating content, the content will be removed and he will be suspended for between one month and two years, depending upon the severity of the violation. And this is all coming from Meta. Uh, Nick uh, Clegg is the Meta executive who said that you know he'll he'll face heightened penalties. Well, a couple of things here, my rel in my commentary. Number one, you're doing this when you know that he's under a lot of investigations, a lot of investigations, and that he has announced a run for the 2024 presidency. Why would you do that, especially when you said that he is banned, like lifetime ban? After two years, you bring him back. What change? What shift that narrative? So I want to hear y'all's take on here. So put in the chat if you're driving, you keep your eyes on the road. But put on the, put in the chat, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Jacqueline says, I don't think the former guy has shown any change of heart. Why allow him back to spew more hatred? Mike Nicholson says, crazy thing is, oh, he's at the AP history. Uh, history. He goes, crazy thing is how most of us don't think it's them banning AP African-American studies is a problem. I agree with that as well. Yeah, the, 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 the spins are out there. Kim says, yeah, um, that changed because he sure hasn't. So a lot is happening now here, y'all, with him. Um, and, and even after that was announced, even after that was announced, his harassment against his secretary of transportation when he was in the White House continues and somewhat heightened to the fact that Mitch McConnell's wife um, has finally broken her silence. So this is coming out of Politico and other sources as well, but I'm going to read this one. Um, they say Trump Trump's open racist attacks towards Elaine Chow have met have been met with GOP silence for months, but now she's speaking out after the latest attack. She says, and I quote, when I was young, some people deliberately misspelled or mispronounced my name. Asian Americans have worked hard to change that experience for the next generation. She continues, Mr. Trump doesn't seem to understand that which says a whole lot more about him than it will ever say about Asian Americans. So she has, she's fed up. She's the former U.S. Secretary of Transportation. She's also Mitch McConnell's wife. She's had enough. So even after that exchange, Meta's going to say you can come back? Really? That's what's happening. I see you, Deborah. Good morning. So to switch, just, just to go a little bit to, the, to that same group over there, y'all, Georgie boy, George Santos, he, he appears again. This time he is appearing for some pretty serious allegations when it comes to the FCC and the um, campaign filings, applications, and so forth. Well, y'all, more than 90% of the House Senate campaign committees didn't report a single track transaction uh, value between $199, $199 to $199.99 during the 2022 election cycle, according to the FEC, I said FCC, excuse me, F FEC data. No campaign other than Santos spent that amount more than four times because there's a rule if you didn't spend that amount four times you don't have to report after a certain amount of times you do have to report and you also have to have receipts to go along with it 
All right. So y'all campaigns are legally required to keep receipts for expensive greater than 200, but you have to have a ledger with everything else. Follow me, follow me, follow me. So Politico was digging into this and they, you know, they even have a chart, which I have that I'm going to share with you. Um, they said, take a look at Santos campaign expense report. You'll see an unusual pattern and y'all, it is an unusual pattern. Pattern. I see you, Latrice Jones, popping in here. Um, dozens of expenses are exactly. <laughs> why would you do this? At one hundred and ninety-nine dollars, or one hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, just under the two hundred dollar threshold, uh, which would legally require you to have receipts. So there's a lot of controversy. Uh, they, they're saying that, for example, he put in his ledger that his stay at a hotel in Miami was $199. Well, a typical night in the time he's there and where he stayed is $600 plus a night. So I'm going to show y'all this and I'm going to break some of this down because this is just amazing. Y'all, here's, I don't know if y'all can see that. Here's his, his one of his sheets that they pulled out. So I'm going to just give y'all some of the figures. On October the 30th, uh, 2021, $199.99 American Airlines. When have you ever flown American Airlines? And it was exactly $199.99. Uh, 12121, $199.99 Amtrak. Um, and I won't give the dates, $199.99 Best Buy. He had that down there three times back to back. So you went to Best Buy and your receipt truly equaled $199.99. Three different times. Okay. Mm -hmm. BJ Whole Foods, $199.99. Clear. Y'all, that's the TSA clear that you have to go through so you don't have to take off your shoes or show anything and just keep on walking. Now, I know how much clear costs. He has in here $199.99. I'm like, that's wrong. Delta Airlines, he has four different airline tickets from uh, December uh, the 31st, 2021. Well, from August the 13th, 2021 to December the 31st, 2021. All four airline tickets, $199.99. Are you serious? So then, I mean, there's more. He has restaurants at that amount, the exact amount of $199.99. Hyatt Orlando Hotel, $199.99, which some people raised the question, you were running in New York. So why were you in Miami? Why were you in uh, uh, Orlando? Why were you in these places? Where were you flying to? Your campaign was in New York. Um then he even had JFK parking, y'all. That's the airport parking, $199.99. Um, Miami dinner, $199.99. Seaside Grill, $199.99. Staples, $199.99. Uber, Uber four times, $199.99. Walgreens, the same amount. Uh, Walmart, the same amount. And then he even has W Hotel, South Beach, Florida. I know it was way more than $199.99, even if you got it through Priceline. So y'all, that's what they're dealing with, with George Santos. And I just want to hear in the chat, what are your thoughts about that? That is crazy. And when will this end? And when will they say enough is enough? When when will that happen? When will they say, mm -mm, we're done with this? This is too much. We got to really think about what's happening. Okay, Kim Edmondson says, will his foolery ever end? Mike Nicholson says he was at the strip club. Uh, Jacqueline says, Santos brings too much to them to be checked by them. Just way, way too much. So y'all, all of that is happening. So that's George Santos. And y'all still have more news to give y'all. I still have more news to give y'all. And Mike says, oh, heck no. Uh, I stayed at a W hotel before. No, it's definitely not 100. Again, you can't even get that on Priceline. It's at least 300 on Priceline. So there's that. So y'all, um, on Wednesday, several fundraising committees 
associated with the freshman congressman from New York filed amendments to their statements of organization, notifying the Federal Election Commission of a new treasurer. Follow this. Follow this. But the newly listed treasurer, Thomas DeWeiler, a veteran campaign finance treasurer who had served on multiple other political organizations, says, I don't work for George Santos, never did, never signed anything, never agreed to this. Why am I listed as the treasurer? So Thomas <clears throat> had to go get an attorney to file papers to say no. And then they signed his name. And he was like, I didn't sign this. And the signatures don't match. So y'all, George Santos now indicates that $625,000 of loans to his campaign might not be too personal. What, what, well, then what is it? What's going on here? So on Monday, again, Thomas's um, uh, attorneys had to come forward and his attorney is Derek Ross. He said, it appears that there's been a disconnect between that conversation and the filings today, which we did not authorize. So y'all, now he's putting other people's name, names and reputation under things. And why did the treasurer change? Well, the woman who was the treasurer said, I'm out. She was like, I'm done with this. These are shenanigans. I don't even know who you are anymore. And that's me paraphrasing that. But she's like, I'm out. Yeah, Lori, straight illegal. So that is happening. That is happening. So when I say to you all to go to town hall meetings, to vet the candidates who are running, check their vote record, check other names, legalese, things like that, we really need to know what's happening. Y'all, we can no longer, and there are people who do that. You know, you've heard me talk about it. We can no longer vote by popularity or because a name sounds familiar. I'd share with y'all last year, and I believe also in 2020 during that election, that people will say, oh, there's this one woman on here compared to three men. I'm a woman, so I'm going to vote for this woman. She could be the woman from hell. Why would you vote for her without doing your, your uh, research on the person? Y'all, Ballotpedia.org can give you everything you need to know. And there's other uh, systems out there as well. Remember the guy in Indiana who was convicted of murdering his wife who was sitting in jail? He won the vote. I told y'all about this, right? Because people were just like, oh, this name sounds familiar because they kept seeing his name in the paper for convicting his, uh, for murdering his wife. Like, why? Like, pay attention to what's being done and what's being said. Seriously, we really have to pay attention to that. I see you, Stephanie Beverage Hall. All right, y'all, independent autopsy reveals that, um, and I want to say his name is Tyree uh, Nichols, um, cause of death after police traffic stop, independently commissioned by the family of Tennessee, uh, came um, to a preliminary determination about how the 29-year-old died after the traffic stop by Memphis police earlier this month. Y'all, the findings indicate <clears throat> that Tyree suffered extensive bleeding caused by severe beating during that traffic stop. So uh, family attorney Benjamin Crump is on the scene, and he has said that, that is, those are the findings. So let's continuously pray for that family. Um, we, can know, we cannot ignore. I know we're all tired. We've seen all these things. We can no longer ignore what's being, what's being said and what's out there. Um, if any of this news is like, okay, this, this is the type of news I want to hear. I want to share this with other people. Y'all hit some of the impressions to get our algorithm going. Please do that. All right, y'all. Lyft, Lyft, you know, like Uber and Lyft adds wait time fees. And don't go anywhere, y'all, because I'm going to the White House news, which you really want to have some pen and paper. Um, Lyft adds wait time fees. That's what's happening. Um, if you or your boo or your children, or your nanny, or your friends, or whatever. If anybody's like, I'll be there going to get to the car, I'm coming. And that Lyft driver has to wait. You can get charged some fees. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're saying time out for all that. We're not doing it anymore. They said the, their fees will be added if they have to wait more than three minutes. So if you're still trying to find your makeup or your purse or put your shoes on or get your jacket or run back in the house to get a bottle of water, you staying in longer than three minutes, you're going to get charged. 
So they're saying we're done with this. So they're now slapping fees. Um, Uber has already implemented that a while back. So y'all, that's it. That's it. You got three minutes. And then they also say for some, depending upon if it's um, if it's black XL, those are the different premium sizes or whatever, that um, it's, it's two minutes. It's two minutes. I wonder if we can put fees on them because they be late and everything else. I'm like, what is going on? Where are you? And they be canceling your Uber Lyft or whatnot. It's, it's just ridiculous. So with that, I want to talk about some White House news. I want to talk about some White House news. Um, before I do that, um, uh, Isaiah, if you could put up the graphic for um, placement. Many of you are still asking. So I'm going to try my best to answer your questions. And I think I keep answering them, but somewhere there's a disconnect. So if you want to have a promo spot on News in Motion, it is $50 per placement. Some of the questions I've been receiving are the following. Um, if I want to sell my book, what do I do? Can I just tell you? No, you have to do a graphic. And if you cannot do your graphic, then your price will go up for the placement because that means we have to do the graphic. You will also send us the graphic or have us do the graphic and send us a paragraph along with all of your contact information. It could be a book. It could be clothing. It could be jewelry. It could be shoes. It could be you're a realtor. It could be you have babysitting services. It could be whatever. It could be that you are coaching, that you are a CPA, that you are an attorney, you are promoting a, a nonprofit or a ministry or a magazine or whatever, just do that. Mike Nicholson says, um, or call him and he'll do the graphic. I'm sure there's a fee that's involved in that. Y'all, that's how you do it. So when I, we say per placement, if like, for example, Hester had a, a graphic up, I think it was end of last week. And it was just one time. That's a placement. We talked about Unbossed Columbus. Now they have several, but we talked about them last week. So that's one placement. When we show their video next week, that's a second placement. When we put Amber Ma uh, Mabry up there, she had one graphic. That's a placement. So y'all, I, I, I hope I'm explaining this correctly, but if you cannot do the graphic, thank you, Isaiah. If you cannot do the graphic, we can do it. Or Mike Nicholson has offered his services out there as well. Get the graphic done. It has to be a certain size. We'll send you the measurements, all of that. We'll send you everything. And I'll make it easy for you. It is the Facebook cover size. All of that. Now you have to put your contact on there, but then we'll also read your contact information. This information stays in the system. We do not delete any videos. We do not delete any audios. We don't delete anything. So it's up there continuously. And people are always going back through our videos to, and, and listening. And how do we know that? Because we get the reports. We get the summaries. They do that. So we wanted to make sure you all understand that. That is how that happens. Already, people are getting business from their placement right here on News in Motion. Um, and we say 30 seconds, but as y'all can tell, we I'm staying on talking about somebody for a minute or a half or so. So there's that. All right. So from the White House, again, y'all want paper and pen because I got all kinds of stuff to talk about. Um, so let me start by saying the ACA enrollment numbers, the open enrollment was from November the 1st, 2022 to January the 15th, um, 2023, over 16.3 million Americans signed up for the insurance for, uh, on healthcare.gov, um, and state-based marketplaces. That's what happened. Y'all, um, and I want to read this line. If you missed it, you missed it. But over the last few months, four out of five consumers looking for health insurance through the Affordable Care Act were able to find health care coverage for as little as $10 a month or less. I want to know why I didn't know about this, um, because I wasn't reading it. I didn't realize it was $10, but we, you have to qualify. And I think you have to fit a certain uh, demographic. And then based upon if you're uh, a small business owner and so forth, there were different price levels. And I'm thinking, I could have done that for a small business owner. What can I, yeah, Kim Edmondson, for as little, wait a minute, as $10 a month or less. So put on there or less. So somebody could have gotten it cheaper than that. 
And it goes on to say these lower rates, which were originally de delivered as part of the American Rescue Plan, were set to expire at the end of 2022. But thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act, which I remember I read through that all along the last time, we extended them and millions of families are continuing to save $800 per person per year on their premiums. So, hey, we cannot. And that's one thing we try to do here. Remember, I've gone through the Inflation Reduction Act right here on News in Motion. I've gone through the American Rescue Plan right here on News in Motion. I go through on purpose. I told y'all about fellowships. And I want to know, did any of you apply for the fellowships? I told you about decorating the White House. Y'all don't hear that anywhere else. I want to know if anybody completed the application to do that, y'all. These are opportunities, and this helps us get to the table. All right, next up. Okay, I told you about that. So um, this is the Biden-Harris announcement. Y'all need to hear this. Um, new actions to protect renters and promote rental affordability. I can't read this whole thing to y'all. But I'm going to have this, I'm going to have all of this, all of this in my e-newsletter that will come out on Monday, this coming Monday. So you have from now until, I don't know, midnight Sunday to sign up for my e-newsletter. Y'all, it's real easy. It takes you a few seconds. It's free. And you get information. Y'all, there are four pages to this. And it talks about the Federal Trade Commission, the CFBP, the, the money, how to supply, the Wisconsin housing, members of stewards of affordable housing for the future, realtor.com rentals. Hello, somebody. You know, realtor.com is no, it's no small feat. It's huge. They're talking about how they will pilot new listing process. Y'all, y'all don't want to miss this. The National Apartment Association and their commitment, the National Association of Realtors and its affiliates and their commi commitment, the National Multifamily Housing Council and their commitment with money attached. Uh, the administration uh, talks about all the uh, commitments, all the junk fees, everything, how to navigate through all of this. Y'all, 44 million households rent their homes. So if you want this, Fred says it's really easy to sign up for a newsletter. It is. You just go to www.gaildudley.com and it'll pop up and you'll see like this, this um, graphic that says vote and they're all people that's spelling out vote and you just complete the form. Bam, you done, you win. Listen. Uh, Jacqueline said, yes, I think I did it correct. You just fill it out and then you get you get a free download, which is the voting resource guide, which is a nonpartisan voting resource guide. But y'all, in this document that I'm going to put in the upcoming newsletter that will release on Monday, if you don't need it, I'm sure somebody close to you needs this information. I'm serious. I read this, this, and these are press releases that I received from the White House. And you got to get vetted to get this information. Believe you me, man, they have probably, they probably know, they probably know where I'm sitting right now in my house. I've given up so much information. But when I read this, I said, well, maybe it's cheaper for us to go rent. Like seriously. And y'all, we have to start accessing these resources. If you are a part of a church, you're going to want this information. Go share it. Just share the email when you get it, whatever. But this information, just sign up. Just sign up. All right. The next thing that I'm going to share, and I won't go into details about this either because it's going to take way too much time. Y'all, I have in my hands the fact sheet when it comes to small businesses from the Biden-Harris administration. Woo-wee. I can't wait to sit down with my business coach and get some of this stuff done, to get it done. Judy says, Gail, your News and Motion team may have thought of this, but how about facts on your website about the process requirements, et cetera, for placements on News and Motion? Tell me more. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me more. So anyway, um, um, y'all, this talks about expanding access to capital small business lending, 
Y'all, trust me, you want to hear about this. And this information, which I'll tell you that in a minute, Small Business uh, Investment Company, which is the SBIC, proposed rules. The lending criteria, affiliation, and employee ownership for SBA business loans program proposed rules. Y'all have all the rules, all of them, all all of them. Y'all implementing the state business credit initiative. They're talking about $10 billion with a B there. Emergency capital investment program. They're talking about $8.38 billion there. This is money we can get y'all, all of it, if we just know how to access it. Wide ranging investment by the FDF, by the CDFI fund, um, providing SSBCI technical assistance, SBA community navigators program, um, improving SBA lender match, uh, integrating community investment committees, all of this with all the details, the links and everything. You can get this, and this uh, there's actually another piece on small business as well. You can get all of this when you sign up for the February membership that will come out, not this coming Monday from the newsletter, but the following Monday. All of that information will be in there. We'll come here and share some highlights, but for anything business, the membership for February is all about small businesses. So you want to get that there. And I got, I have it all. I have it all. Even contact names and numbers and so forth. Um, So y'all, that's what I wanted to share with you today. There's a lot. Um, That's what we do here in News in Motion. It's more like a teaching and education. Yes, we give you highlights from News headlines, and I love what Marion said yesterday. She said, I like the news, but I come here for the inspirational message. Everybody comes in, comes into news and motion for their different pieces and parts that they want to receive. So with that, y'all want to talk about the inspirational message. Lori said, that's some good business stuff right there. Listen, I said, wow. And you know what's sad <clears throat> before I go to the inspirational message? What's sad about that, Lori, is that I thought I was going through things and, you know, we go, we come through so many press releases. There's no way I can share all of the press releases with you, even in a month's time, even in a year's time, we go through so many of them and we have keywords that we highlight, that we pop out, that we want to see based upon what it is that we do here at News in Motion. And when coming through all of that, I said, wow, if I did not have this access, how do people obtain this information? How would they ever know about it? And and even when I share things with you all, and I cannot make you do anything, I sit back and wonder, again, like the White House, y'all, y'all had access to the White House. I reached out to several people. One person said, oh, I missed a deadline. They were really upset and they they were stressed out and they had a lot going on and they would have been perfect for interior decorating of the White House. And I, and and they were really upset, but there are other people like, oh, I just figured, you know, whatever. I said, in there where it said referred by, I told you to put my name in News in Motion. I said, we're on the list. I said, if nothing more, you could have gotten a phone call. They could have gotten your information for the next time they needed something. So y'all, when I bring you all this information, please do something with it. Please do something with it. We now have access. I'm just one vehicle to give you this information. This is access. You wanna you you wanna utilize this. I told all of you that we got new press passes for the Library of Congress and the US Economic. I don't know how many. And I said, I have I cannot even move for those yet because I need people that I have to vet, that they have to vet before we can get in there. I'm being very particular about that because it's like my name, our reputation, News and Motion name is on the line. Judy says, facts, uh, FAQs would be frequently asked questions. Well, I know that. Today, you pose an uh, answer question on placement, which was helpful. Can those questions and others related to placements be posted for reference? Judy, now, that'd be real good, but that costs money and time. And my uh, <laughs> and and my website person, even to update what she updated, was not cheap. 
there's a whole new page on there, which is politics and pros. I need to go there and check it out. And you can even get to politics and pros by going to politics and pros podcast.com, but it links back to my website. Amazing. All of those things that we do. Oh, trust me. It costs a lot of money, which means we need y'all support. So y'all can cash app, y'all can zill, y'all can subscribe, the, the financial subscription, everything. Um, uh, the one sponsor who was doing very well for News and Motion said to me, uh, look, um, this sponsorship, you know, what, who else is helping you carry some of this weight? That's real. So when you're running a business, it's real. Not, not, that investor was my husband, right? And and I didn't want him to continue to carry it, but but to do what we did on the website, that's and I love the website now. She really did some stuff on that website. That was not cheap, not at all. So if anybody wants to sponsor to add a fact page or something else like that, sure, call me. I'll tell you how much that costs per hour. She charges per hour. And Mike Nicholson can tell you this because he used to build them. I think he may still do them. We're talking uh, $500 an hour, okay? So it's a lot. So maybe the next time she goes in there, I can get her to put some of that in there. But that kind of stuff has to be updated regularly. And that means you need that person to go in there and update it regularly. That is not, our website is not a website that is like a click and paste website. She built all of the framework to it, her own um, I don't even know the, the information. All of that is hers that she built that I purchased from her. So, but that's a great idea, but there's no way we can do that. Not in this season. All right, y'all, here's the inspirational message. Inst inspirational message, mature people. This is for mature people. And I'm still in Philippians, y'all. Philippians 3, verse 15. It says, all of us who are mature should take such a view of things. All of us who are mature should take such a view of things. And this comes after verse 14, where it says, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us who are mature should take such a view of things. What's your view? Mature people, what's your view? What's your view of things? What do you see in this season? What's your view? What are you looking at? What are your what are your lens showing you in this season? Maturity means that we go to a higher a higher place. Maturity is like, okay, what do I need to do to get there and how do I get there? That's maturity. Maturity is what we talked about 2 days ago. Be anxious for nothing is not even worth it. Maturity is what I talked about yesterday. Whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are a good report, whatever things yada 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 think on these things. That's maturity. It's like forget all that complaining, forget all that stuff, forget all that ugliness, that pettiness. Maturity. So mature people as we go into this weekend, what's your view? What are you going to see at things in this particular season at this particular time? What does that look like for you? How do you navigate those types of things? Mature people, mature people. Y'all, this has been a great week on News and Motion, a lot of information. And I sit back and I marvel at the maturity even of the broadcast. I was like, we've come. Lori says, what's your view of things in this season? I see bold things. I love that. I see bold things. So our maturity, our maturity. Y'all, I believe that we're still in a miracle season. I don't know if Latrice is still on here, but hashtag many miracles. And I still believe that the listeners of News Emotion will be the ones who are delivering some miracles to other people. There's so many great things that are going on. And each day we have to sit back reflect and say, wow, God has been amazing in this season. So y'all, again, please sign up for the newsletter. Please sign up, especially if you want that information on, on renting. Um, in that newsletter, there will also be a link for you to join the February mentors, uh, the February membership. And the, and the February membership is on small businesses. Um, and that's where you're going to get all that information on small business. Now, for the text messages, because with the membership, you get text messages once a week. 
The text message, it, the number is not going to show up my number. It's going to be like a 986. Sometimes it's a 768. Sometimes the, the, the area code changes. That's the system that we use. Um, and, and that system, which costs, that system that we use, we're getting that you're blocking. Those of you who are members are blocking it. So either you don't want it and that's your choice, but that's something you paid for. Y'all, the memberships are only $8 or $7, $7 or $8. dollars oh, You'll see it when we post it. Um, so maybe you don't want the text message and we got it. But just know if you don't get the text message, that's because you blocked it. And once you block the number, once you block the number, you won't get any others. Um, and I don't even know how to reset your phone number in there for you to get it. So be mindful of that. But you will, the moment you sign up, you will automatically receive an eight page document. That alone pays for the membership. So maybe that's all you want. Um, and then there's other features that come with it as well. But you're going to get all this information on small business. So y'all, until Monday, I am Gail Dudley. Y'all know what I say. Stay well. And remember, make some bold moves. I'm out.